make sure your navigation menu doesn't look like this. Learn how to avoid drop-down menu overload this week on Website Wednesday. Welcome to Website Wednesday, your weekly destination for quick tips on how to improve your business website. You know, having a navigation menu on your website is a good thing. Having too many drop-down menus and sub-menus on your navigation menu can be a bad thing. Consider the possible negative impact of including too many sub-pages and sub-sub-pages and sub-sub-sub-pages in your main menu navigation. First of all, it's hard for people to navigate that many sub-menus. I know we've all had that experience on a website where we try to hover our mouse over a menu item and then try to go to the sub-menu and then our mouse doesn't quite go right and then the whole thing disappears and we got to start all over again. That's a frustrating user experience. Also, think about how this is going to work on a mobile phone. Too many sub-menus can be confusing and hard to navigate on a mobile phone. Finally, people get overwhelmed by too many choices. If you give them so many menu choices up front, they're going to be overwhelmed and might not be able to find what they're looking for. So I have some tips to help you avoid this type of sub menu overload. First of all, try adding as much info to your top level pages as possible. Now the top level pages are those first layer of pages that appear in your navigation menu. I personally prefer no more than one level of drop-down submenus in a main navigation, and even those should be used sparingly. Instead, work on providing as much info on one single page of your website as possible. For example, if you have a biography and a mission statement and an about us paragraph, instead of splitting all that up into separate pages, try putting that all into your one single about page, and then that can be a nice, big, uh, exhaustive, epic, page that people can get all the information about your company that they want from that single page. Second tip is to put a uh, sub menu navigation into a separate menu entirely. So if you need to have lots of sub pages, move the links of those pages out of your main navigation menu and put them in a secondary menu, either below your main menu or in the sidebar or somewhere else on the page like these examples you see now. Finally, consider adding a search feature to your site. I understand some sites absolutely need lots of pages and lots of subpages. If that's the case with your site, make it easy for visitors to find what they need quickly by using a search box. That way they don't need to go digging around through endless levels of subpages in your navigation menu to find what they're looking for. The good news is if you use WordPress, it comes built with a search box right out of the gate in a widget. And there are also many plugins out there that you can add to enhance the default search functionality in WordPress. All right, guys, tune in next week when we'll talk about how to encourage your visitors to interact with your website and why that's beneficial. If you found some great information in this episode, don't forget to subscribe or follow me here so you can keep up with the latest videos. And I'll see you next week on Website Wednesday. <laughs>